Hello everyone and welcome to our last assembly of term 3. I know we all can't wait to take a one week break after the longest term we've had all year long. Hopefully, and I mean hopefully because this is the 8th time you've said it so far, we can see you in person next term. I know for myself, I'll be joining the boys senior volleyball team, so hopefully I can meet some of you guys there. That's right, Danu. All of our teachers, leaders, and other school staff have been hard at work to safely reopen our school for students to attend. Slowly, we've been getting more and more students on campus for our various sports programs. Just Tuesday, I was at school to join swimming practice with the Orcas. Football has also started and senior volleyball to follow in term four. But without further ado, let us start this assembly with our secondary one minute to change the world video by Atta in year 13. What if I tell you that you can be anything you want without having to know what they thought? What if I tell you that you could reach up to your dreams without having to understand the boundaries? What if I tell you that everything you desire might not be there because it's not the right one for you? All the faults you faced are only to prepare you for a greater job. What if I tell you that sometimes Getting out of the common sense is the best action to take. I mean, what's wrong with that? It is not about us having to act differently, or having to think about things that is outside of the box. It is just us, about us, being us. And let me tell you something else. The only thing that could change the world, it's us. Great message, Sir Atta. Next, we're going to watch a one minute to change the world video from a couple of a year six students. Please welcome Jade, Mariam, Ari, Rohit, and Tadius. This is our world, uh oh, this is our earth, uh oh, this is the place where we belong. This is our home, uh oh, this is our time, uh oh, this is the place where we come from. Pick up the trash, put it where it should go, you do your part, preserve this earth you know. This is our world, uh oh, this is our earth, uh oh, this is the place where we belong, this is our home, uh oh. Excellent video guys, next we're going to watch a secondary creative and a very interesting performance to say the least from our very own head boy Danu. Yo, what instrument do you play? Uh. I play the piano. How about you? Uh, I play my house. <laughs> what do you mean you play your house? Well, I play my house. I'll show you what that means. bad <laughs> yeah I promise I'm way more serious in real life even though in assemblies I don't really look like it I also recorded this video back in September when my hair was extremely long so let's forget about that now we're gonna have experiment time with the year ones and we're also going to see Yuki from year two's cardboard creation please welcome them
Hi everybody. Today I'm going to talk about a fridge and a microwave. I made it from cardboard. I took two days to make this machine. When I made it, I was having fun. This this microwave can open and close. This one is for the temperature and this one is for the timer. Hungry, may I have a food? I will heat it up for you. Here you go. Thank you. Awesome job, everyone. Now we're going to bring back the Radio Wolves. Unfortunately, for this assembly, there will be no quiz, but our host will be announcing the winners from last month's assembly. Hello, everyone. We are back, your favorite duos of all time. I'm Sabrina, and I'm with amazing partner. Daniel, Jack and Jill, Patrick and SpongeBob, Daniel and Sabrina. That's right. It's the hosts with the most. Before we announce the winner of last month's Guess the Teacher, we want to apologize that we won't be able to have this month Guess the Teacher. Hmm. Yeah, we're really sorry, guys. We've got a lot of schoolwork going on right now, but we are loving it. Anyways. We're still here to announce first place on who guessed the teacher correctly and reveal the identity of last month's teacher. The first person who guessed the teacher correctly was Anne. Congratulations, Anne. You get us to glory. Thank you, Anne. I'm sure the geckos are in first place by now. Now to reveal the teacher's identity. We had a lot of guesses, including Mr. Ellison and Mr. Hickey. But the true identity of this teacher was Mr. Matt Knox, who teaches year one. (gasps) Hmm. Thank you, everyone, for participating and guessed it right. We will have our actual guest teacher interview next month. Thanks again, guys, for your patience. Stay fresh and enjoy the term break starting next Friday. Nice work, Anne. We look forward to the return of the guest teacher segment in our next assembly. For now, we're going to have a look at a recap of our literacy week. There were some amazing submissions from both students and advisories. During literacy week, there were some interesting activities, including creative writing competitions in both English and Bahasa Indonesia, read-alouds, guest readers, poetry party, character dress-ups, and many more. Please enjoy the following video.
They were such enjoyable and interesting activities. Now we'll move on to the poetry party competition, which was a modernized performance of a pre-1900s poem. The winners stood out because of their creativity, originality, and collaboration. Be sure to keep an eye out for that announcement. So quickly, waiting for a hand. A hand that can be clasped no more. Behold me, for I cannot sleep. Like a guilty thing I creep, release to the morning door. He is not here, but fall of it. The noise of life begins again. And gas throat lies in the rain. On the bald street breaks the black day. With a love that winged the seraphs of heaven, coveted her and me. And this was the reason that long ago in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud by night, chilling my Annabel Lee, so that her high-born kinsmen came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulchre in this kingdom. The night wind rocks, sleeping flowers, and sings to themselves and low, the early birds ear long will wake, this time for the elves to go. For the eastern sky with sunlight soon will glow. The morning star shall light us home. Farewell, for the elves must go. Congratulations to Miss Dina's Year 7s, Miss Dickinson's Year 7s, and Mr. Sfields' Year 9s on their victory in the advisory poetry party competition. Next, some of our student council members would like to introduce a global event that is occurring this Saturday called Earth Hour. Let's welcome Rosa and Eva. Earth Hour is an opportunity for millions of people all around the world to take part in Earth Hour and show their support for climate change. By switching off your lights, for one hour, you can make a sustainable difference in energy consumption and can help reduce the effect of global warming on this planet. Our day is in Saturday, March 27, from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Only one hour. You can switch off the lights and use candles like me. Rosa 
Matt and Ava. And with that Stuco Earth Hour video, that's the end of our assembly for this turn. A lot of exciting stuff happened this month with a lot more to go. As always, submissions are greatly welcomed, even if you think they're embarrassing, like Thanos. On another note, the Student Council has been working tirelessly to pump out the next few events in Term 4. Some Instagram polls will come up on our account in the near future, so stick an eye out for them because we would greatly appreciate if you guys could help us out in making these events come alive. After all, these are for you. With that being said, stay fit, stay lit, you guys are the best, we'll see you all next month.